What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It's me, Mario, your certified Mexican. Um, today's gonna be a short video. All I'm gonna do is unbox the top. Um, I got that top from Auto Tops Direct. It is the tan top, not the light tan, the tan top. And it has the plastic uh, window, not the glass. It says glass in the back, but they probably put that there just so, you know, FedEx wouldn't uh, throw it around and things like that. So this specific top um, is made by Sierra Tops and Seats. Um, like I said, it's, it's a tan top, not a light tan top. It is for any NA or any NB Miata, I believe, because I think the NB Miata's got the same uh, mechanism. So, yeah, I'm just gonna unbox it, review it. I'm obviously gonna put it in the car, you know, install it, and uh, make just see how it fits, see how it's boxed, and yeah, regular unbox and review. So, um, stay tuned. Here it goes. All right, guys. You're in my head, literally, in my head. Um, first things first, ha. Ha. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Pretty well packaged, look at that close this before we rip anything and let's slide her out this looks pretty nice uh, this one has the rain rail uh, pre attached to it first impressions this is really nice I'm honestly surprised at how, how nice this is and it's a, actually a pretty affordable top. I think it was only like in the high 200 range, low 300s. Check it out. I went with plastic just because OEM Miatas came plastic. So I, I like to stay OEM. <laughs> oh look, they even included the part that they cut out for the, for this. Huh, maybe that's so uh, you protect it and you put it on when you fold the top. I don't know. But that's really that's really nice. They include all the material. This is really good. I like it. it. Looks like it's really good quality. I can't wait to put it on. So without any further ado, I am going to uh, do a time lapse and uh, I'm going to install this on the mechanism. I decided to start with these first. So these little flaps go into these grooves right here. If you can tell right there. So you stick them in there. See, to that. So they go in there. And yeah, we're gonna try that. We're gonna try that and then see how it goes. So keep watching. It's gonna be the first step. guys having a hard time installing this top um, <clears throat> so I went online and saw a video um, of someone putting it on and they were putting it on with the frame on the car so that's what I'm gonna try and do because putting it on with the frame outside of the car it's a little bit tricky um, it's probably possible but I'm not able to do it at the moment, so I'm going to try this method and see how it goes. And yeah.
just a quick update one thing to take in mind you do have to put this spring all the way down here and it is a pain all right i finally got it look that's how it looks it is a pain to do that i've only done one side hopefully i can do the other side faster all i've done basically is put the the middle parts here let me go inside like these metal parts right here i've put them in i've put them in the the correct like holes and brackets have i lined it so just i'm just gonna keep working it and uh this is a lot easier though than doing it there i probably would have struggled so hard with that spring like if i didn't have it on here and you know the top is basically sustaining itself there you go passenger sides in oh took a little bit of force but it was faster than the other one for sure a lot faster so now i'm just gonna work the top around and uh put this in here can't really see because of the glare let me see like you know just just keep working it around and then go all the way and then around and then the that this has to go in but yeah i'm just gonna keep working let's get this done i love the way this new top looks makes the car just look newer so after after um struggling with the spring this is your next next task to put this corner in here and then i, I had to run a home depot because you actually have to rivet not this hole not the big hole but the small hole back here I'm gonna show you on the other side what I mean. Okay. So not this, but here. Right there. I gotta rivet that into here. And what I mean by the corner is this corner right here. You have to fit it in there, in this corner. So this actually gets riveted as well these holes but they get riveted right there check it out guys this is where your rivets are gonna go they're pretty hole specific um yeah like i said i had to run to the store to get a riveting gun um but yeah every hole has its hole so can't really mess this up it's two rivets here and then there's two rivets in the back right here somewhere i don't know how i'm gonna get to those but one thing at a time one thing at a time i'm gonna rivet this down and then i will go on from there that's what it looks riveted down and then all right guys check it out the rivets in you can see it right there um so how i did it is this is obviously still loose i lifted this up as you can see them right there one two I raised it, put the river gun in here, and then just rivet it, just like that. Oh, by the way, uh, the rivets that you use are 530 seconds. Um, if you go to Home Depot, you'll find this same uh, arrow kit. I bought the kit because this is the only one that came with the 530 seconds. There was actually no 530 seconds in stock or anywhere around the store. For that matter, I think you have to order them. I'm gonna move into the front right here sorry for the glare gotta stretch this and uh fold it right here and then there's a black railing that goes here with uh, i believe it's seven bolts so that's next all right guys so i just finished this rail right here it's a bit of pain as well because there's this small plastic uh small plastic pieces that uh if you try to screw this in and the plastic comes up the whole rail is going to come up so you got to make sure that the plastic stays in there if not the whole railing is going to come up and you're never going to get anywhere now i'm gonna do the rain rail uh this goes in here there's also some um there's there's this rail that goes in there as well this this goes in there. There's a bigger one that's uh, over there. 
the rail in the back right there hold on let me turn on the light I don't know if you'll be able to see but that rail where those nuts go biggest pain in the butt ever ever all those nuts they're very 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 hard to get to not to get to but to get to go in um <sighs> i had to jam my foot on those things and I spent probably like the last three hours trying to get those few nuts in. I still have a lot to go. Like this is still not like where it should be. <sighs> so I guess this is going to make it into another day, today video. Yep, I'm, I'm tired. I, I think I'm just going to call it a night. I'll continue the party on tomorrow and and just like that it's the next day it's a pretty gloomy day out it's raining it was raining really hard last night um, but nonetheless back to the top project turns out I was putting in that railing in backwards on at the light turn on so that goes the other way from the research that I've done <laughs> Um, no wonder I was struggling with that for like the past three hours yesterday. Um, so I'm going to take it off, do things the right way, and hopefully it goes in easier this time. Um, if not, I'm probably going to struggle for another whole day. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> Check it out. There's honestly nothing like a new top like this is this is really nice. Everything's good. Some of the things that I struggled with, um, this rail right here, but mostly that was my fault. You're still gonna struggle, but that's my fault. <laughs> um, I was putting it in backwards last night and I didn't realize until I obviously stopped working on it did some research and yeah look here it goes I'm gonna fold this this way that way it doesn't cramp Let's see there it is put together all working Another thing, this wasn't that hard, this railing right here, but uh, sometimes the little, pla they're little plastic things like that, they come up if, if this starts to uh, thread on it, they tend to come up and you don't want that because you'll never get it to seal properly like so. It's a very tedious job and you gotta have a lot of patience. Um, you gotta make sure that this goes in. There's another plastic thing that's supposed to go underneath here I'm supposed to make sure that everything there um, is basically behind it so the water goes through and it goes through the channels if the car's getting there the next thing is the gas tank after that everything should be pretty smooth it should just I should just be able to clean the whole body and uh, clean the interior because it I did get a little bit messy and uh, she's gonna be ready for the road maybe some autocross um, maybe I sell it? Nah, I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> stay tuned guys, stay tuned. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a fun, fun little car. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. If you, uh, find it helpful or someone, you know, owns a Miata will find it helpful. And I'm, I'm all, I always reply, so if you have any questions on how to do something or if you're struggling with something, just reach out to me. Comment.